Welcome back to Village in Motion this Tuesday, October the 6th. It's my pleasure this morning to have Lois Kraft, uh, who is the Pastoral Ministries Manager, uh, with us this morning, and we're going to be talking about things that are going on in pastoral ministries. Good morning and welcome, Lois. Good morning. Thank you, Clint. Always a pleasure to be here. Well, we're glad to have you with us. Thank you. There's a lot of things that you, you guys are doing, isn't Yes. It? How about, <laughs> I got a whole list here, in fact, of upcoming events. Uh, first one, Garden Ridge Special Worship Service in the chapel. Yes, yes. And what's that all about? Yeah, we're excited about that. Uh, Chaplain Annie Blackwell mm -hmm. has had the desire for a while to bring residents who are able uh, in uh, Garden Ridge over to the chapel mm -hmm. to have the, the worship service there, mm -hmm. um, just to have another experience. So uh, she's been working and um, has been talking with programming and talking with pastoral ministries about how to make that happen. Oh, We're wonderful. excited uh, that it will happen on uh, October 14th, mm -hmm. uh, 1030 a.m. in the chapel. It'll be about an hour service. Okay. Um, so we're looking forward to uh, actually having that take place. That sounds great. Yes. Very, very good. And then on the 22nd of October, you've got something else coming up. It's what? United Nations Day, the need for peace. The, we, need, for, the every, need for peace. Every day is a need for peace. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we've been, uh, you know, privileged to offer or uh, to have United Nations Day for several years um, at Green Spring. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, since I've been here, this will be the, the second one that I've actually been involved mm -hmm. in. Uh, this year, it is the need for peace. Um, certainly, you don't have to look far. Right. You know, as you've said, uh, the headlines are filled with all kinds of things oh. that are going on all over our world. And so we will have um, uh, Rabbi Bruce Aft. Oh, okay. Who from Congregation yes. Adult, Adat Raim, who will be coming to serve as our guest speaker Super. for that day. Um, and certainly um, just welcome the entire community. Yes. Uh, it is an interfaith event. Uh, so we would like to have as many people as possible, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of faith, uh, that you come and support it. Uh, we will have something there for you. Uh, so it's 1030 in the chapel on the 22nd. On the 22nd. That's a Thursday. Okay. And uh, Rabbi Aft, I've had the pleasure of, of being in a couple of his classes. Yes. And uh, you do not need to be Jewish to, no, to appreciate what he has to not share. Not at all. Uh, he's, he's wonderful. Right. And um, so he will be coming for the second year in a row mm -hmm. to serve as our um our guest speaker, and then we're also looking at bringing him back um, for a couple of um, educational events next year. Great. So we're excited Wonderful. about that Wonderful. as well. Very good. And then the next day, on the 23rd of October. Very next day. Very <laughs> next day, Breast Cancer Prayer Walk. Breast Cancer Prayer Walk. And you pray as we walk? We pray as we walk. Okay. Uh, for those of uh, those who would like to do that, they don't have to. They can share stories mm -hmm. about breast cancer. Um, they can pray for people that they know that, have, that are dealing with uh, uh, breast cancer. Uh, but it's a collaboration between uh, the Wellness Committee and mm -hmm. Pastoral Ministries. And so uh, excited, Dr. Sherry. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, and I and the, the rest of the team have been working on this for the past several weeks. Mm -hmm. um, we'll start out at Town Center. Uh, we will, it will be an outdoor activity, uh, and we'll walk the, the campus. We have a couple special things planned oh. um, for that day, so come on out. We, we'd we right. like to get at least 100 people there on that, that walk. <laughs> and so that's from 1.30 to 2.30? 1.30 to 2.30. On the 23rd, and where are people going to meet? We're going to meet at Town Center. At Town Center, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Any special dress or anything for that date? Uh, dress according to the weather. Okay. We're hoping for really good weather. Good, good. And um, Dr. Sherry, uh, for those people that do not know who Dr. Sherry is, yes. she's a uh, PhD uh, nurse, uh, yes. same as I, yes. <laughs> uh, and she is in, uh, in charge of the employee wellness uh, program. Yes, yes. Uh, house out of Garden Fabulous, Ridge. fabulous yes. job. Yeah. I think many of us have come to rely on her expertise. Yes, she is excellent. Yes, she, she really is. is. Yes, she is. Uh, and then on the 20, uh, excuse me, on the 5th of November. The 5th of November. Day after my birthday. I will day, remember okay, that Okay, remember that. <laughs> Second annual day of caring. Second annual day of caring. Um, we had the event last year, mm -hmm. and uh, Dr. Reverend Dr. Lanise P. Bias mm, uh, yes. came, and she did several sessions for us. Mm -hmm. We kind of filled her day. We started out with Village in Motion. Um, introducing her to the community uh, and then we had a special uh, session for uh, uh, for residents who are dealing with grief um, from adult children yes. who, have, who have died um, and that was just a beautiful um, a beautiful session that we had and she was able to share personally with them 
We then had a power up session right. uh, f uh, for uh, residents and for staff, and then followed by one final session in Hunters Crossing. So we're looking to bring um, her uh, level of care right. and her level of understanding back to Greenspring. Yeah. And she's the mother of an unfortunate yes. experience, her son Lenny. Right. Um, deceased uh, secondary to right there were she actually medication. lost two sons mm. um, within several years um, her first son uh, Lynn Bias had been drafted by the Boston Celtics right. and about two or three days after that draft took place um, he had died mm. of a cocaine overdose right. so she shares her story she's doing um, some additional things right now with the White House and um, with the guidepost magazine mm. um, and just certainly um, very in, engaged in community, mm -hmm. engaged in life, um, and we're looking forward to having her back. I think a lot of people were inspired yes. last year. Yes, and she, another excellent speaker. Very good. Very, very, good very speaker. nice. Uh, and then on the 12th of November, yes. uh, we've got spiritual care and hospice, uh, bringing families together. Yes. Very important. Very important. Uh, we had one session uh, last week, and that session was over in, uh, in Garden Ridge. We had about 20 residents mm, come okay. out, um, some, uh, a couple of family members, um, and it was a, a panel of about nine persons, um, staff, and two residents who shared their stories. And so um, I think by sharing and having people listen mm -hmm. to the value of hospice at Greenspring and seeing um, just what, what a, a resource it is yeah. right here in the community yes. to support them, you know, if and when they need it, mm -hmm. um, and the combination of spiritual care, pastoral care, right. and hospice, and how well those disciplines work together. Um, uh, through that sharing, it was very touching. Mm. You know, some tears, mm. um, but, but very touching, some laughter. Um, so a very good event, and okay. we just invite people to come out on November 12th okay. for that activity. And that's from 2 to 3? 2 to 3. In Village Square Theater? In the Village Square Theater. Okay. Yes. Uh, anything people need to do beforehand or anything? No, just come okay. and listen um, and, and share. Okay. Be prepared. And, and if you have questions mm -hmm. that you want to jot down beforehand, certainly bring those questions with you. Okay. Um, but just come in and just hear what it is, um, hear about this wonderful resource that's right here. Yeah, because we really have a caring community. You we do. really yes, do. Yes, we do. In every aspect. In every and, aspect. And too often, I think, people forget about the, the spiritual care that, uh, mm -hmm. that's so, so important mm -hmm. uh, in regards to our overall community. Yes, I think being in those settings and being with people who are dealing and ha have dealt with end-of-life issues and um, just the beauty in that moment and seeing that people are able to do it their way, mm -hmm. um, who receive that type of care, uh, we don't dictate anything, right. we just let them have the kind of experience that they need. And I think that that's critical. Very good. Yes. And then you've got some other things going on, Has right? A few other things. Yeah. <laughs> few other things. And music. Music. And what is it about the music? What is it about the music? Well, uh, on Channel 2, which is our dedicated uh, chapel channel. Used which to used be, to be 56. Used to be 56. Uh, one of our residents, Paulette Dam, has mm -hmm. been working diligently um, on trying to bring music uh, to that particular channel when we're not broadcasting oh, wonderful. Uh, religious services. So uh, anytime you turn on channel two, you can listen to music that is inspiring, that is motivating, that is soothing, mm. you know, very peaceful. Right. Uh, oftentimes we have it on in our pastoral ministry suite. So we are just really grateful um, that she has brought this to, um, to the Greenspring uh, community. Yeah. Yes. And, and, you know, the nice thing is, Paulette does so many nice things. Yes, she here. does. She really does. <laughs> She's yeah. a great resource. Yeah, a tremendous resource. <laughs> and uh, in case you were wondering, uh, that was her phone. That, that you was her off. phone. <laughs> always working. Always working. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but we, we, we really appreciate all the things that Paulette does. And that is really yes. a, a resource to have music on Channel 2. Yes. Uh, and people would get Channel 2 the same way that you used to get 6, 8, 56. That's right. Uh, every which way you get it. Yes. Uh, and uh, But, you know, Channel 2 is an analog uh, signal at mm -hmm. the present time. Yes. And uh, it's a great show. It great is. program, great and, channel to have dedicated. Yes, and then incidentally, we're still, uh, Paulette and uh, Chaplain Annie and a few others of us have been working on, um, still working on how we can expand that channel. Um, so we started meeting and mm. we're, we're excited about some other things that, you know, several months from now we'll be able to offer and bring to this community. I think people are really going to like it. Yeah. 
Great. Very, very good. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, some meditation. Some meditation. Uh, very important. Very important. Uh, feeding your spirit, mm. uh, which we started in January, continues to grow. It's actually now being offered to other Erickson communities. Wonderful. Uh, courtesy of, of Jeff Watson. Oh. Um, who believes in what we're doing. We're offering it in Spanish, uh, so it's going into employee break rooms. Uh, so residents, staff, uh, families, people that I'll never know mm -hmm. are receiving those meditations on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. And so if people still would like to sign up to receive them, mm -hmm. uh, all they have to do is call Pastoral Ministries or send me an email okay. and we'll make sure that they're added to the list. Now when you said receive them, is this a printed uh material or is this an email or what how, how do they we, receive we it? actually offer both uh, for residents who don't have email or who don't use email we print the hard copies out and they're delivered to resident cubbies okay um, with staff um, they're delivered to the employee break rooms mm -hmm. um, every probably periodically I'll compile them and offer them in booklet forms form so okay. that people who haven't received any of them can get the, all the meditations for the year. Tremendous. And so they get, what, a month um, of meditation, I mean, uh, in they, regards to it at, at a time? They can get the entire year's meditations at a time, okay. or they can get them once a week, oh, uh, okay. again, either by email or by the hard copy. Okay. And so that's feeding your spirit. Feeding your spirit. Via me meditation. Meditation, yes. Okay. Via meditation. And so all they've got to do is call, they, call you or call pastoral call, services. Yeah, they call pastoral ministries, 604-4218. Um, okay. uh, Ingrid Calcano, uh, who is our administrative assistant, mm -hmm. will be happy to add them to our list. Okay. Very good. And then faith and focus. Faith and focus. Um, um, the next newsletter will come out uh, at the end of this month. Mm. Uh, I think that uh, the summer issue was filled with lots of interesting articles. Yes. And the one thing that I'm excited about regarding Faith and Focus is we will, um, we started with the, uh, the issue that came out in August. But uh, since Listening for God is no longer mm -hmm. offered right. uh, in this community, um, we reached out to Reverend Chuck Jekyll and asked if he would like to have at least a one feature article oh, presented. Uh, so every newsletter will have uh, either a Listening for God article or feature page or feature section. Tremendous. We have several writers who mm -hmm. have um, indicated an interest, and I've already received uh, Listening for God articles, so I'm excited to bring that to the community Great. again. So, But certainly that's a way to continue the legacy that he started, um, and because it has a, its value, mm -hmm. it's valuable right. in, in our community. It really is. And for people that don't know about it, it is a newsletter. It you is a newsletter. You started it, uh, and I have the pleasure of being one yes, of the editors. Yes, you do. Thank uh, you very much. In regards to that. <laughs> but it is a tremendous uh, resource uh, and just very inspirational. Thank and you. it's 12, 14 pages. 12, 14 pages and yeah. growing. <laughs> and growing, which is wonderful. And, and people can get that just simply again by contacting Pastoral Ministries, They can right? contact Pastoral Ministries. Normally what we do um, is we make it available in black and white mm -hmm. and put it in resident cubbies. Right. Um, and we put color copies in all of the community buildings. Okay. Um, so, yes. Very, very good. Yes. And last but not least, the dream team. The dream team. Um, excited about that as well. Lots of really, really good yeah. things. Um, I issued an appeal in the last issue of uh, Faith and Focus mm -hmm. for residents and for staff to uh, form a dream team. And so we have several people who have indicated an interest to be a part of this dream team. And the role of the dream team is to dream, mm -hmm. to vision, to envision what else can we offer to the Green Spring community? Tremendous. Educationally, concerts, you know, trips. What is it that you would like to see be a part of your community? And so the, the first Dream Team meeting will be held on Friday. Um, and so excited about that and looking to see all of the good things that are going to come out of that Dream Team. Okay. So. And so that's this Friday. That's this Friday. October the, October the 9th. 9th. We're okay. meeting in Pastoral Ministries. If there are others who would like to be a part of the team, mm -hmm. they can call Pastoral Ministries. Um, but I think a lot of uh, good ideas will come out of that. And we're also including 
you know, some of the input that came in on the, from the resident input cards mm -hmm. that were submitted, um, it was, they were included in the newsletter. Right. Uh, and also we're taking their ideas in terms of Channel 56 program, ex Channel 2. Channel 2. Channel 2, Channel 2. Program. 56 no longer exists. No, no longer exists. <laughs> Got to get that in my mind. Uh, but we'll be taking their uh, input into consideration mm -hmm. for that as well. Okay. So lots of wonderful things. And certainly all that the faith communities are doing to... Uh, be a spiritual resource mm -hmm. um, in this community. We have a lot of things going on, but a lot of good things yes, going yes. on. And, and if somebody needs a chaplain, always contact. They can contact us, um, Chaplain Annie, uh, any of us from Pastoral Ministries, Pastor Bell, uh, myself, uh, Reverend Miriam Gentle, always available to help residents, staff, families, it doesn't matter. Wonderful. It doesn't matter. Well, again, thank you so very much for coming this morning and sharing you, all this Clint. great news. It's always great news hearing from you and thank hearing you. from Pastoral Ministries what's going on here. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks again. You're welcome.